China to be the biggest luxury market by 2025, say consultants, after Chinese spending in sector doubled from 2019 to 2021. Sales of luxury leather goods, fashion, jewelry and cosmetics are surging in China and on track to exceed those of all other markets in three years, Bain and Company says. In 2021, more than a fifth of global consumer spending on luxury goods was in China, driven by online spending and duty-free shopping, the consulting firm says. Before we continue, if you like what we talk about on this channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'll give you a few seconds to do that and we'll continue. Around 21% of global consumer spending on luxury goods in 2021 came from China. According to Bain and Company, the Chinese are expected to become the world's largest luxury market by 2025. In its China Luxury Report 2021, the global management consulting firm points out that the domestic sales of personal luxury goods in the Chinese mainland notched up a 36% year-on-year increase to nearly 471 billion yuan, it's 74.4 billion US dollars, in 2021. The sales figure had almost doubled when compared to that of 2019. Categories of luxury goods grew at different paces in the Chinese market last year in 2021. Leather goods grew the fastest with a growth rate of about 60%, followed by fashion clothes and jewelry. Due to free shopping in the southern Chinese island province of Hainan spurred the growth of the country's luxury market with about 95% of Hainan's due to free sales coming from personal luxuries last year in 2021. More than half of the goods were luxury brand cosmetics. In 2021, China's online personal luxury sales increased by about 56%. This is faster than the offline stores, the conventional and primary distribution channel for the luxury industry. The pandemic and the related travel restrictions have had an impact on where the purchases have been made. Over 90% of Chinese consumer spending on luxuries were domestically. Overall, we expect Chinese consumers' personal luxury purchases to recover to pre-pandemic levels between the end of 2022 and the first half of 2023, said Jing Weiwei, a partner at Bain & Company and co-author of the report. Just before you leave, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Of course, if you like the things we talk about on this channel. Thank you. Till next time. Bye.